Welcome to another installment of TPM's 4-Minute Fridays. My name is Bruce Harris. I'm a senior application engineer at TPM. And today's topic is going to be customizing diffuser tags in Revit MEP. So let's get started. Now that we're in Revit, let's go ahead and tag these diffusers. So I'm going to use the tag all command and the diffuser tag is the standard one out of the box from Revit. And the standard one out of the box from Revit, the way it is set up, it is tagging them based on the CFM, which is fine, but it's tagging them based on the actual mark or number uh, as it places a diffuser, it assigns it um, a number, one, two, three, four, five. And most people I know would prefer it to be based on the type. So a type A diffuser or a type B diffuser. So the first thing we're going to do in customizing this tag is we're going to change it so instead of the mark, it's going to use the type mark. Now before we do that, I'm going to click on the actual diffuser go into edit type and populate that type mark field with type A so this is going to be our type A diffuser now we want to edit this tag so I'm going to click on the tag and edit family and here are our two fields so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the field up top which is the one we want to change I want to edit the label and instead of the mark, which is currently what we're displaying, I want to display the type mark. So I'm going to add it to the right. And I'll click on mark and remove it. And then go OK. And now here's our tag. So I'm going to load it into our project um, and overwrite the existing one. And now we have a type A diffuser and 500 CFM. Now, if I decided that uh, I didn't want that, I want to do a little more customizing with it. So what I want to do is fancy it up a little bit more. So I'm going to click on it and edit the family again. Now this time what I want is I want my type A to have a little um, hexagon around it. And above the line, I want the size of the diffuser. And below the one, I want the CFM. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to click on these two pieces of text and change them from center justified to left justified and then move them kind of where I want them to be and now that I've got them there I want to copy this one now I could create a new one but I'm just going to copy it from here down to here and I'm going to change that one back to center and let's kind of line it up with that line and I want to draw my symbol around it so inscribed polygon So I now have my little polygon around it. Actually, I think this text is probably a little too far off, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Pull that up just a hair. Okay. So let's say I'm happy with this concept overall, except, oops, before I do anything else, uh, both of these values are the same. I need to change this field so it's the size. Okay, so now we have the type A here, the size up here, and the CFM down here. So let's load this into our project and overwrite our existing one. And now we have exactly what I want except a couple minor things. First off, it's kind of hiding part of my line work, both the line here and part of my hexagon and I don't like that. 
The second thing I don't like is this is getting to be a really big tag, so I definitely do not want CFM on the end of it. Might not be a bad idea to go ahead and get rid of this diameter mark as well. So let's go ahead and try doing that. So I'm going to click on this and edit family. Now the reason it's hiding some of this line work is the fact that the text that I'm using, which is this label 32nd, if I edit the type of it, has an opaque background. I need it to have a transparent background so I can have it real near those lines without it um, hiding those lines. That's the first thing I want to change. And the second thing I want to change is the format. Now if I click on my size here and go up to Edit Label, click on Size, this little button right here is not available. If this button is not available, then you cannot change the format in the tag. Now for CFM, if I go to Edit Label, you can see when I click on Flow that this button is available, so I can change it here. So let me click on that. And instead of using the project settings, I want to choose the format here. We're, we're not going to change it from cubic feet per minute, but I do want to change the symbol to none. So go OK and OK. And let's go ahead and load that into our project and override our existing one. Now our line work is there. Size is up top. And I got rid of the CFM down here. Now if I wanted to get rid of the diameter symbol, I can get rid of the diameter symbol, but it has ramifications. It's not just part of the tag. It would get rid of diameter symbols all over. So if I had a duck that was a 10 inch round duck, it would simply say 10 inch as well. And I know a lot of people actually prefer it that way. So let me show you how to get rid of that diameter symbol. Now remember it's not just this tag, it would also get rid of it anywhere like on a duck label or something like that as well. So I'm going to go to manage, go to my MEP settings, mechanical settings, and on my duck settings here where it says round duck size prefix, I'm going to delete my diameter symbol. And now I have the exact tag the way I want it. This has been another presentation in the series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris, and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.